You can see olive trees around here. You can also see fig trees. Now, some people think that Jesus was kind of, kind of mean uh, for cursing the fig tree when Mark tells us very clearly it wasn't yet the season for figs. But it didn't say Jesus came seeking figs in the fig tree. It says that when he saw the leaves, he came seeking fruit on the fig tree. Before fig trees bear ripe fruit, but often soon after they bear leaves, you have uh, green knobs and uh, sometimes they can be, be riper and they can be purple. But these, these knobs, they're not very appetizing, but they are edible. And when you're getting ready to go in and cleanse the temple and you need uh, some fast energy, especially if you skip breakfast that morning, getting up early to make your way to Jerusalem, you, you need some, some quick energy. And yet this fig tree didn't recognize its Lord and present its fruit to the Lord. And so it was cursed. In the same way, Jesus is going to go in and cleanse the temple because the temple establishment, as we're going to see in the parable of the tenants in Mark chapter 12, they weren't ready for their Lord either. They didn't want to hand over the fruit to the true owner of the, uh, of the vineyard in the same way as the tree that wasn't ready to hand over fruit. It wasn't yet the season for figs, but it was the season when they could bear fruit. When this wasn't ready to hand over fruit to the Lord, well, it provides an acted parable for what's going to happen to the people who control the temple but aren't ready to hand over the fruit to the true Lord of the temple.